that's kavita there are three simple rules for the trader to follow first is value at risk what is the amount of value which you have at risk because suppose you trade the derivatives one lot is worth something like 7 to 10 lakhs now on that 10 lakh rupees there is a margin of say 25% so on 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees you are taking an exposure of 10 lakh the profit and loss will be on that 10 lakh whereas your amount is just 1/4 of that so value at risk is very important second is mark to market every day in the derivatives there is a settlement so so you should not be trading in a position which is loss making and where you have to cough off enough mark to market which can again put you in peril of being over leveraged second is mark to market and third is what is your hedge what are you hedged against because every day there is volatility in the market one is the local uh, scenario second is if you carry an overnight position there is global scenarios against which you don't have a if you don't have a hedge meaning if you have not counterbalanced your risk then again you are you know in a wrong position so these three things are very very key for a trader for the investor it is the scenario of trying to own an asset class we own four asset classes everyone owns a roof over his head which is real estate fixed income which beats uh, uh, manages to beat inflation and generate risk free return third is gold and silver to which we attribute to the lady of the house and fourth is stocks now do you own equity as an investment as an as a portfolio and that is an asset class which must be in every portfolio that is why you are seeing the advent of the retail investor so all the four proportions are for the business uh, are for the investor and in what age is his uh, you know uh, uh, risk profile he will have exposure to equity but equity as an investment is a must because that is how your capital will grow from small amounts into wealth creation